We are Wisconsin Robotics at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. And this is our 2017 rover, Ascent. For our rover, Ascent, we had three main goals. Simple and elegant design, making sure we had time to test and improve our rover, as well as ease of control through the integration of mechanical, electrical, and software systems. For Ascent, we've decided to use the Rocker Bogey as a passive suspension. It allows for mechanical simplicity while also accomplishing what we need from a terrain traversing rover. Ascent's wheels are custom made. Using an in-wheel motor, we're able to guarantee a large amount of torque at each wheel. We are confident that our wheels will enable us to perform well in the extreme retrieval and delivery task. The main body of Ascent encloses all electronics as well as our cameras. We currently have two shoulder cameras providing a wide field of view in the front of the robot, as well as a two degree of freedom camera mast. Ascent's arm has five degrees of freedom, turntable, shoulder, elbow, wrist, and rotation of the claw. The shoulder is driven by a linear actuator. The rest of the joints are driven by brushed DC motors. Where reduction is required, we've employed the use of a belt drive system to preserve precision and allow for accurate control of the arm. This will be incredibly useful for all arm related tasks such as extreme retrieval and delivery and equipment servicing. The embedded subsystem includes a variety of sensors, including the GPS needed for the autonomous navigation task and the measurement tools for the science task. For the embedded system, we focused on modularity to allow for efficient testing and quick replacement in the event of failure. In order to intelligently control Ascent's arm, we have developed custom motor controllers. These controllers use encoder feedback to regulate each motor's speed and position, in addition to monitoring the currents to ensure safe operation. The custom motor controllers implement PI control to regulate each motor's speed and position. Precise control will be needed to perform maintenance on the generator and the equipment servicing task, but without sacrificing strength required to deliver the 5 kilogram objects in the extreme retrieval and delivery task. The main focus of our power system is reliability. All of the voltage regulation systems are combined into a single PCV, providing 5, 12, and 24 volt power where it's needed. Our power system has two lithium ion phosphate batteries to isolate the motor power from the other electronics, ensuring our system has plenty of runtime to last through consecutive competition tasks. To coordinate all of these systems, we have an ARM processor using a real-time operating system. This uses specialized tasks to maintain every subsystem, acting as a master of embedded communications. For radio communication, we are using an off-the-shelf commercial solution for reliability, which we have been testing with since October at ranges of up to one kilometer. For communication between high-level and the low-level controls of the robot, we have developed an in-house protocol, BCL, Badger Command Library. For the autonomous traversal task, we have developed a state-based design in C-sharp, utilizing a follow-the-gap algorithm for obstacle avoidance. Specifically, we have split the states into GPS and computer vision. To get from one GPS point to another, we are using an LRF to detect objects and react accordingly. Once at the GPS location, we are using OpenCV to find the tennis ball and then measure our distance from us to the gate. To better test this algorithm, we have also been developing on a virtual simulation environment called Gazebo. This allows us to do more testing earlier before we actually have a physical robot. In Gazebo, we are able to simulate all the sensors that we have on our robot. With these sensors, we can accurately simulate our robot in the real world. For the science task, we will be using an auger bit to collect soil, which will be then deposited into a push-to-seal box for delivery. On board our rover, we plan to use a temperature and humidity sensor, as well as a microscopic imager. We'll use these to get a better look at the grain size in the soil, and to get a qualitative analysis of our sample site. For the lab portion, we plan to use a probe that can measure potassium, pH, nitrogen, and phosphorus. This will help give us a better idea of the chemical composition of the soil. In addition to this, we also want to do a number of chemical reactions with our soil sample. This will help us determine the macromolecules within the soil, which are necessary for plant and microbial life. We currently have a rover ready to compete in the extreme retrieval, equipment servicing, and autonomous traversal tasks. Prototypes for the science task are ready to be integrated onto Ascent. We are excited to compete in this year's University Rover Challenge.